Okay, hello again guys. So that's the first one down this morning. I'm at a brand new permission. I've had the feeder up for about three weeks and it's not going down particularly fast. But it's not the best time of year to be shooting squirrels because there's so much natural food around this time of year. But that's encouraging that I've got one there. I've already seen the dreaded jays coming in and gobbling all my nuts and I've frightened them off hopefully. Not seen them for a little while. But yeah, so this is a brand new permission for me. It's private land, privately owned by a family. Only a small holding, maybe, I think they said it's about like eight acres. Um, but he produces his own sort of stuff on the land, um, particularly like flowers, veg and stuff for themselves. But um, does um, a bit of you know stuff uh, himself. But he has apples and walnuts here, very small sort of orchards as such. But the squirrels are decimating his walnuts apparently. He said he's not eaten any walnuts for years, kind of, and he's fed up and needs something to swat out. So uh, that's basically why I'm here, to try and get rid of these grey squirrels. Um, the land is where I am. It's really steep on this bit of the land, but I'm right out on the edge of his his land, and it's quite overgrown and everything. It's very compact here. But this is particularly where he wanted me because it's away from his house, away from everything else. And he says, he thinks the squirrels, the other side there, there's quite a big wood by the looks of it. And he thinks they're all coming out of there and into his property sort of this way. So he asked if I could start up here, which I've done. It's far from ideal. I'm on quite a slope. I'm really close to the feeder, only maybe 20 yards less than that even, 15, 20 yards. But I've got no open space to uh, set anything up and shoot really, so. But we just had one squirrel, so that is encouraging because the feed hasn't been going down a lot. So I'm just gonna sit back and wait and see how, uh, how we get on. Let's see.
So would you believe on this shot guys, I didn't have the rifle cocked. And when I did cock it here, I still heard the noise and shot off. And I missed that one. Unbelievable. Okay guys, I finally got number two. I've seen about four squirrels, unless it's the same one. Come and go, get spooked. I had a perfect shot on one, and I hadn't loaded the rifle. Can you believe that? And when I cocked it, it heard it, it scooted off, but that was the same one, and it stayed about. Actually went up on the feeder, this one, started eating, and I managed to shoot it. The others, I can see another one on the fence, further back now, see if I can show it to you. There he is, see, just gone along the fence at the back. Hopefully he's coming in. He seemed to be too close I want to be to the feeder. But it's going to be really difficult to move further back. Yeah, so that's that one that was coming along the fence. Put that on standby. Excellent. That's three now. That was the one that was coming along the fence. Everything's so overgrown and so compact. I've got a tiny window, as you can see through the scope, to actually look at. And all I can see is branches moving here and there. And then suddenly, they come down on the feeder. Yeah, so chuff for that. What a beautiful morning too. Absolutely beautiful. But I'm definitely a bit too close. I either need to put me net right up so I'm shooting through it I think. Or try and move further back. But the further back I go, the lower it gets if you know what I mean. Okay, time for a coffee. Plenty of time left in the morning still. Excellent, excellent. <clears throat> okay, that's four now, guys. Oh, it's turned out to be a really good morning. Not only is it absolutely beautiful, squirrels have finally found that feeder. Now, I think that squirrel went past me about ten yards in front of me. I saw a 
squirrel go across the track there and up into the bushes and then that squirrel obviously came up the branch I put there so I think it was that one that made its way over there so yeah they've definitely found the feeder by the looks of it or some of them good the landowner is gonna be chuffed all right still got a, a bit of time I can wait so let's wait and see Here's another one that um, came nicely up to the feeder, so I waited patiently, thinking he's bound to go on to the feeder and have his breakfast. I was thinking about taking a shot here, but I thought no, I'll wait for him to go on the feeder. And then he has a look at his mates on the floor and thinks better of it, and I don't see him again. Okay guys, that was number five. That's been a really good morning, really happy with that. First time out to this feeder. No sign of that second squirrel you, you would have seen on that last shot. I've given it five minutes and he's not appeared at all. But you've seen how finicky they are, I'm sure he just scarpered. So many I've seen go up to the tree and then come down and disappear and not even go back to the feeder but uh, it's been quite a while until that one I've shot I did see that other one that went up the tree and he decided to disappear so I think I'm gonna sit back have my last cup of coffee probably take my net off now sit back have a last cup of coffee give it five minutes enjoy the lovely sunshine and then probably go and do the pickup and call it quits for this one today. So if you made it to the end of the video guys, I'll show you the pickup perhaps if I record that on my phone. Thanks very much. Please do the usual. Click on that like button. And uh, if not already subscribed, please uh, consider subscribing. Lots of videos on the channel. Plenty more to come. And... Uh, if you've got anything to say about the kit, what I'm doing here, usual thing, chuck it in the comments, I'll get back to you. And uh, hopefully I'll see all you guys on the next one. Thanks guys. Okay guys, let's do the pickup. There's the feeder here. So there's one, two, three, four there. I can't see number five. It's probably in all this undergrowth. I'm going to have to have a dig around and see if I can pick him up. Well, that's five down today. That's a really good morning. I'm really happy with that. Uh, first visit to this feeder. So, uh, yeah, happy with that. The landowner will be very happy. So I'll be visiting here again soon. Cheers, guys.